Hello and welcome to Visual Basic video tutorial number 5 and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at user inputs. Now you've seen before how I've used console readline as a sort of pause. Now what console readline does, I don't know if I've said this before, but it basically waits for a user input and when you press enter it gives the user input to the program and if either does something with it or in this case it doesn't do anything with it and moves on to the next section of code. Now I'm going to show you with this method how you can get a user input and store it in a variable. So I'm going to go and dim an input as a string. Now it's a string because we want the user to input some letters. If we wanted the user to input a number we use integer but it's also important to note that in string you can input numbers, letters and spaces and that's all acceptable. And on a side note as well, I'm just going to say something about variable names. Now, dim input as string, the variable input is very relevant to what we're doing. We're getting a user input. Now I see this all the time in code, dim i as integer. Well, that's all well and good, but i doesn't really mean anything. You know, you may as well write elephants and you have just an I the same amount of idea of what this variable is. So it's always a good idea to give some relevance to your variable name when using it in any programs that you might write. So anyway, we're going to see now how we can use this console read line. So let's give input the value of ABC. Just to sort of give it a value to start with. Now, I'll show you here, we can write input equals console, oh, it's already written there, I'm blind. So we can actually give input the value of the console read line that we're going to be entering into the program. Now, write, write, and we'll write out the input variable. So, we, first of all, we're going to give input the value what the user enters, and then we're going to write it back out to the screen. And as usual, at the end, we're going to add a little pause so that it doesn't end the program as soon as it writes that up. Save it and run it. And there we go. But now we're going to type something in. So I'll type YouTube and hit enter. And it writes it back to us. So that just shows that this variable does indeed hold the value that you type in. And another thing as well, it's always good to actually give a prompt to the user. I mean, if you just saw that program, you'd have no idea what to do. So we'll write console write line. Please enter a word. And that will then give a little prompt and tell you what you've got to do. And in a console, it's always good to guide the user through the program, otherwise they just get lost and confused. ABC, ABC. And that wraps up this little video tutorial of how to give variables values from the user input. So I hope that's been useful, and in the next video, I'm going to be giving you the option of what you want to do. So after I've finished this little piece of talking, um, you can either click to the left, which is going to be a calculator, and you could click to the right, which will be a magic 8-ball. Now in both of these videos, uh, I'm going to be going over techniques that we've already learned, and there may also be a couple of new things to you as well. So it might be a good idea to watch both, but you can choose which one you want to look at, you can choose which one most interests you. So thanks a lot for watching, I hope this has been of some use. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.